Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 20th episode of Tissues of the Day, a comedy show about queer culture and relationships. My name is David, and I am joined today by my co-host, Robert with the big 2-0. Robert with the big 2-0? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's our, our 20th episode. That's our number. I was this like, what milestone. two? milestone. What O does Celebrate it with pretzels. <laughs> Celebrating with pretzels. I love that. Mm-hmm. And today's episode is about fashion. And we are joined today by our wonderful, beautiful, fantabulous, talented friend, MBA. Welcome, MBA. Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to get into it. Uh, MBA. Wait, wait, is like, let's, let's a... get that one more time. Look at the MBA intro, the like super low. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like real yeah. close to the mic. Yeah. Hello. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Uh, MBA is a hairstylist, and you can follow them at mba.hair on Instagram. Uh, if you ever want a stylish cut for males, females, people who don't care how they identify, uh, yeah, MBA rocks at hairstyle. So uh, to start things off, MBA, we are going to do some rapid fire questions. Mm. Uh, the goal is to just answer yes or no or just the first thing that comes to your mind you don't have to like explain your answer uh just give us quick answers and robert and i are going to go back and forth um does that make sense perfect i can do that what made you smile today robert (laughs) oh cupcake or cup of tea cup of nonsense oh sorry i thought i thought we were still talking about robert okay no no cup of tea cup of tea i thought it was uh, like (laughs) Cup of tea. Okay, I got it. I got how this dance works. club, dance club or pub. Dance club. What's a pet peeve of yours? Other than Robert being annoying, I would say uh, <laughs> the shade in this in people, this podcast is off the charts. People taking up too much space <laughs> on the sidewalk. You're the second person who's brought that up. Well, it's the pandemic, and people need to give me my space. <laughs> When's the last time you felt flattered? Um, like five minutes ago when I saw how good I looked on this camera. <laughs> flattered by a camera. So flattery. <laughs> All right. In one word, MBA, describe your aesthetic. Luxuriously loungy. Mm. Drama or comedy? Drama. Um, are you a backseat driver? Mm. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> mm. Anything you might be addicted to? Love. No, I mean, no. Nothing. Books or films? Film. Do you have a crush at the moment? I typically have like five to seven at any given time. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your middle name? Barry. Oh, just in case. I thought it might be something else. <laughs> What's a niche on social media or the internet more people should know about? Squalwin Botanicals on Instagram. Ooh. In the sheets, MBA. More uptown or downtown? I am a city mouse and a country mouse, and I can go in oh. any town, village, city, <laughs> or galaxy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Would you prefer to DJ a whole night or dance a whole night? Dance. Dance. What do you wish you could do more of? Kiss. Last thing you ate? Hemp parts. So, so Pacific Northwest. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Lovely. I think I'll bring that to a close. Lovely. Well, okay. Did we learn anything about MBA? I did. I didn't think I was a backseat questions. driver. <laughs> I I love hearing about how astoundingly verse he is. There was a lot of the answers he gave. He's like, I either or or both, you know? Mm-hmm. 100%. I will leave it at that. NBA, we are here today to talk about fashion. Mm. Uh, I'm very excited to get into this because um, I know so little about fashion. I just trust my gut. So we're just going to jump right in. NBA. What are your personal style goals? Um, my goals are to be comfortable, be myself, and be interesting. So, 
I feel like I achieve my goals on a daily basis. Mm. I love that. How about you, Robert? I have two major rules around fashion. One, it should make you feel confident. And two, it should complement your body. Mm. That's it. Good. That's all I think you need in fashion. Doesn't matter how you dress, what you do, how revealing, non-revealing, how avant-garde, how it's, uh, mainstream or on-trend, off-trend you are. Just those two things, I think, is what matters. Yeah, yeah. Mine is pretty much like just some sort of average between the two of you. <laughs> just like <laughs> I want to be comfortable and I want to feel confident. Like it's really, yeah. it's really quite simple. Um, and like the more you do it, the more like you want to experiment with uh, what makes you comfortable, right? Because mm -hmm. like sometimes you want to feel adventurous and then that's like a new comfort zone, you know? I actually have a friend who uh, her whole thing, her confidence, because because I think she knocks the confidence piece well, but her comes from a source of comedy. So she likes to buy things that make her laugh. And if she mm. like when she puts on a dress that's like it's usually she's like the loud prince and like animals all over her dress or whatever. And so long as it makes her laugh, that's what she'll buy. And I always really like that. That is so totally. different than what I would ever do. Yeah, yeah. Teach <laughs> Not around. trying to dress funny. <laughs> that's, I like it. I like that. That's like a, it serves a nice purpose for like. Where do we like to shop? This isn't on the list of questions, Ooh. but do we that's have any fine. favorite places? I, I know my, my go-tos for sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Zara is one for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I like a that. place that has like, for the most part, I like pieces that are classic and I can apply to a lot, you know, like just reuse them in a lot of different contexts. And mm. then, um, but I have a little avant-garde thing, I have a little edge to them. And me and MBA, I think, have a lot of like similarities. Like, I, in fact, I've given clothing to MBA because I was like, I know he'll like this. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> true. Know? And I've given it to him. And um, so, and, and, but for the most part, I'm like, I want it to be flexible but a little avant-garde. And my big like statement pieces almost always come in the form of jackets, scarves, um, maybe footwear. Not big on footwear, but yeah. Kind Does of. that mean that you would say your clothing is 100% versatile? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> That's cool. Um, How about you, MBA? So like I, I have received a number of avant-garde things from Robert. That is mm -hmm. true. And I, I also mm -hmm. relate to like having a lot of basics. My entire um, closet is black, gray, and white. And so, I mean, I guess the denim is blue. But it's just like a lot of simple things to pair together. Uh, and then I like a little, little statement piece, like this gorgeous mm -hmm. little lacy number from... A company that I will tell you about later after the break. Do we have breaks? And <laughs> um, it's, nope, no breaks. It's been so many messages. You'll be right. Back. <laughs> the reason I have this is because it was made by uh, two queer women in New York, two black queer women in New York that uh, are a couple. And at least I think they're a couple. They, if they're not a couple, they should be. A, oh wait, am I doing that thing where I'm like, you're gay? You look so cute together. I'm pretty sure there are a couple. <laughs> anyway, this is a really long answer, but um, statement pieces yeah. and supporting uh, businesses of marginalized people Ooh, and ethically yeah. sourced clothes. What are Ooh. your stores there, David? I like thrift stores. I like, mm -hmm. um, I do like the occasional like DIY piece that you find on like, uh, maybe online or just secondhand or yeah, just somebody like, you know, putting their own personal marketplace up where they're just like, I uh, redid this thing. Um, <laughs> that stuff is cool. I haven't been shopping in too long and I'm starting to feel like a craving for clothes, but you know, because I'm paying rent again, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> that that's mostly <laughs> where oh my, my money God. goes. Rent, lol. Rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If only, are there rent, are there clothing rental services? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, for sure. Costume okay. places, sure. <laughs> well, so, like, when you think about like costume. everything people get for weddings and stuff, and so that well, could yeah. be. There's places that have, um, you know, it might just be like a a cute dress for a party or like a nice button up for. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have to be wedding style either. Yeah, yeah, because I'm thinking semi formal and like informal mm. rental. Yeah, I'm, I'm also a that. fan, and I'm actually glad because now. 
being located in the uh, UK, uh, ASOS was always a store that I really enjoyed. And so really it's kind of like the H and M of this area and that, but it it also like it is re- like replete with options. But I almost always find something that is Alazara, where it's something a little like like it's a basic number. Oh, with a little These words you're throwing at me, Robert. <laughs> My camera just stopped, so I'm just going to take a little moment and reach over here. We have Lick it. entered Lick the, it. the wonderful segment of the show where MBA adjusts their camera. Flicking it. Well, and it's a new got, segment we're working on. Re- they've got to reset it because it has limits. All right, and welcome SLRs. back from the break. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> we're back. <Hey. laughs> so I'm still wearing uh, the so, same number from the same company. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, Nothing has changed. After the next break. <laughs> oh, no. switch this. Uh, so my next question to both of you, who are some of your style inspirations and uh, favorite designers? I guess, yeah, first part, mm. style inspirations. Robert? Style inspirations? Yeah. Um, whew, I, I would... Are we talking okay. people or are we talking like... People. Okay. Well, that's a that's a lovely question, Robert. It, you're, a style inspiration can come from anywhere if yeah. we are being very open minded yeah. about it. Yeah. Um. Because I just defaulted there because I think to things like sci fi genres, films, and series, and that because it's almost always about like what will fashion become? What's the next thing? How will we change the materials mm-hmm. and the silhouettes and the looks and that? So I've always really liked those things that are coming out of like, uh the fifth element fifth element sixth fifth element um and you know like stuff out of like star trek and star wars and um uh, especially like one one of the good things about the new first three as in like you know like not the newest ones but like movies one through three uh they really focused on fashion especially for uh the like queen amidala character and so they like had all this like elaborate shit right and I, I just find some really interesting inspiration from there. Outside that, I would say rock and roll is definitely a piece for me. Um, I think that, I mean, Europeans is one of, one of the reasons why I've gone to Europe. Uh, Europe has amazing fashion. Japan um, has amazing fashion. Um, what else has always been? A, a, I've always liked uniforms, like things that are s- like very structured and organized that can be from military to um just like i don't know stuff that they make somebody wear for like a really nice high-end hotel or something so Mm. yeah those are a few very cool wow yeah that's a very like broad range mba how about you what are some of your style inspirations or who i do relate to robert when it comes to like different genres of music and film um i'm into that kind of like futuristic kind of thing mm-hmm. like a monochromatic sort of shiny flashy glittery futuristic kind of yeah um vibe you might see in sci-fi uh mm-hmm. which makes me think of like some of the things that lady gaga wears for music videos i feel like she's probably trickled into my mind um I do like, if I was going to like describe my fashion, I would say it's a mix of Tilda Swinton and Mm. maybe just Tilda. (laughs) Somebody who like. (laughs) Tilda Swinton is a style icon. If anyone's curious. She's she's done a lot of modeling. (laughs) She's so androgynous. Well, I'm really, and I'm really into androgynous fashion and being and, Mm -hmm. um, I've always like the thought of making my own clothes because I find, well, I don't find clothes that I really like in stores that I feel like represent me. Um, Something I've been really loving through the pandemic is uh, the opportunity to be shopping online more or maybe not opportunity, but the, limitation (laughs) of not being able to uh, go to as many stores. And um, yeah, I've been finding a lot more um, expressive clothes and gender neutral clothes online. Um, One of my favorite designers uh, is Marco Marco. And I feel that he Mm. 
uh, something I really love is how he uh, has like amazing trans and BIPOC representation in his fashion shows. And he also puts that like into his daily practice and or, like into his work. Um, and does a lot of styling for um, queer and trans and BIPOC people. Um, so, I mean, if he was wanting Marco, if you're listening and you want to like <laughs> design something for me, like I'm all over that. Um, at the moment you can only buy, I mean, somebody like me can only buy his, um, underwear, which I have a lot of, but wait, why, why only you? Why are you the exclusively allowed to buy? Sorry. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't. Yeah. What does that mean? I didn't really mean, say that correctly. Um, I thought he was in like the club or something. Like, I, I I just kind of meant like people like us, but I didn't want to like link you to. It. I wanted to sort of like oh okay, be hu- like make myself humble rather than being like well for simple people like us. Um, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be that fancy. I think you just need to be friends with Marco, um, mm-hmm. and I'm not, so. I can but buy his underwear be. at Marco Marco I'm underwear. I'm so confused. Are you just saying his stuff is expensive? No, he only, um, he designs things for, like, you can't buy it, like, in a store or anything. Oh, like, okay. he's just as, like, like other designers, like, he, he'll make things specifically for, like, a, um, you know, a, a person for an event. Like, uh, one of, you can see a lot of his designs on the last season of, um, RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 uh, mm. and he did particularly a lot of designs for Gottmik so um, some of the best he's designing oh, all the time but it's just you, yeah. you can't just like go like pick out okay. those things unless you yeah like, you can't go to Forever 21 and go to the Marco Marco commission <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh, I, I I said that in a really fumbly way um, but uh I really wish that I could have some of his designs. Mm. Fair. Um, for me, my style inspirations are people. I, I really connect with uh, Timothy Chalamet and oh Harry Styles yeah. <laughs> and uh, SZA, honestly. I really like SZA's fashion. So mm. somewhere, yeah, given more resources when I'm back employed and all that stuff i'm gonna be getting some like really nice really clean formal stuff that is also more colorful i i like and androgynous like both of you were saying i I think a mix of all of those will be so fun and i can't wait but until then thrift stores and uh you know cheaper stores but something i found really interesting is that i also feel that your style is almost like like fashion forward street and like mm-hmm. casual wear and stuff like mm-hmm. you have you have a like uh, what do I call it it's like almost like a R&B street <laughs> like y- you you definitely do <laughs> but it depends on the like I've seen a variety coming out of you like you have like 1980s right now is like a vibe for you it's like mm-hmm. big sweaters 80s and 90s. potentially off the shoulder depending on how many drinks you've had and like bright colors and shapes you like the shapes geometrics yeah. and that you know that's I, that's at least what I'm interpreting yeah, definitely. I think, mm-hmm. yeah, if I were getting extra academic about it, there might be a bit of like a pop art thing going on, mm-hmm, a yeah. bit of like a whatever. Yeah, I like color. I, I've said it many times on the pod. Uh, yeah, any anything oh that's God. like high contrast <laughs> is Can really I fun. ask what your mm-hmm. dream formal wear would be? <gasps> oh, oh, what Everyone a gift, NBA. My gift. Uh <laughs> Or my <laughs> my dream formal wear. Let's see. Um, so it would probably be. Let's visualize. It would probably be. Uh, so the the first layer would probably be something like sheer or mesh, maybe like mm-hmm. a tank top, um, and then over that maybe a uh, white button down of some kind, mm-hmm. um, with maybe like the first two buttons open. Okay. And then okay. a jacket, probably a big statement jacket, um, mm. whatever okay. that entails. Okay. 
Uh, so, and again, like these colors would probably match in some way. I'm kind of leaning toward uh, greens, not florals, but just like uh, wait, yeah, why green not? With some Come sort on. of <laughs> green florals. Yeah, in. Um, yeah maybe like a green spring. Yeah, a green base <laughs> statement jacket. Um, uh, a little, maybe a little bit of jewelry, maybe like a small gold necklace, mm. uh, maybe a small gold earring. Then the pants are probably going to be. Oh, what would go? I'm leaning toward gray pants uh, okay. or mm, okay. black pants mm. um, that might be more tapered, but I'm also really digging the straight leg look. Um, mm. So it could be something like that. Then uh, maybe maybe a green statement shoe or mm. a black shoe. Mm. Can I? That can is my I vision. Edit your I might draw dream. that. <laughs> Of course. David, can I edit your dream by one layer? I want you to take out that middle layer between can the I, mesh and the wait, wait, jacket wait, wait. piece. I, I, have to, I have to just pause and just put on the record that Rubber's saying, can I edit your dream? Can I edit your dream by yeah, one layer? Can I control your dreams, David? <laughs> Is it okay, too shady you for you? What do you want? It's, frankly, I'm brilliant. You want to co-dream with David. <laughs> and what would be the layer? How would you co change dream, David's dream for him? <laughs> I feel what? so. Yeah. So <laughs> remove remove the Relu shirt, and then it would the just shirt. be jacket, and then and then the a mesh, mesh or sheer. Because I want to see that yeah. mesh. I think you don't want to hide that, and I think okay. that could be I mean, amazing. I, I think that. it could be a blazer. I think a blazer would be amazing with that, mm -hmm. uh, like a statement blazer with the mesh number underneath it would be. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah that's me. Well, I don't want to just suck up all that time. MBA, what about you? What's a dream formal oh. outfit if you could design it? Okay. Well. I think about this a lot and I'm really um, not attracted to collars and button up shirts and that kind of um, beautiful structure, you know, sort of like what you were saying, Robert, with like the uniforms and the hotel mm -hmm. um, opposite of that <laughs> stuff. Like mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful. I like to look at it. Uh, for me, I like things that are a lot more like flowy and uh, draped and mm -hmm. sort of curious um, swaths of cloth. Swaths. So I love a cloth swath. swath. <laughs> Give me that cloth swath. Cloth swath. So I think everyone that, all at once in a three to one. I want to hear cloth swath close okay. into your mics. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Cloth swath. <laughs> I think I have like a, a real like uh, aversion to the masculinity in like a suit. And so even if it were to be like a button up shirt with something drapey, like take, um, what's that little twink? Adam Rippon in... Um, the Oscars, well, the Oscars when he had his like button up shirt with a harness, like super cute, very queer, but still like the button up shirt. I wouldn't want like I love how it's like changing the uh, the formal look. But um, yeah, I like I love mesh and lace and uh sheer things so mm -hmm. could i say you're like a more masculine stevie nicks does that sound right you can but it won't be on camera until i switch this again <laughs> oh we're back so and i don't know and we're back the camera just decided to cut that out so um i don't know well, i can i can go well yeah, nba please. sets up um I like I that. I like the drapery of Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's big on drapery she, and and sheer and mesh and flowy. I feel like she's more masculine than I am. Okay, but she has like a. But yeah, I guess like I'm not as into like dresses and skirts and yeah, yeah. the long hair and uh, so I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> How about I'm you just going to edit Don't your comment, away. though, and add another layer. <laughs> so Please. I like where you're going, but I'd like you to choose 
maybe somebody from the 90s and just throw that in there later on the podcast. That's my edit. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll have to think about that. Because okay, 90s and please. flowy was not usually a combo that I would consider. Uh, for me, it's interesting. I am not big on formal wear. I wish I were better at it. I'm not good at it. I am much better with casual wear. Uh, so I need to work on that. Well, it's cost prohibitive. It's so expensive to like play with mm. formal wear. Absolutely. Yeah, but I do love just like a guy in a suit looks good, right? Like a mm-hmm. stu- tailored, structured, clean, pressed, good looking suit, right? You know, the Italians know how to do it. Um, yeah, I mean... So I feel like if I just had a good suit for myself, that's all I really need because I don't mm. really do formal mm. wear. But on the point of the question of the designers, the designers who inspire me maybe for better formal wear would be somebody like Alexander McQueen, adore him, uh, John Barbados, especially for his rock and roll vibes, uh, Vivian Westwood. Um, yeah. I would wear the shit out of her dresses and things She's and all, all that stuff. She, she, yeah, she has punk ins- inspirations, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so those are three of my big ones. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to pick up my formal game. I'm not good at it. I need to, I need to pick up my florals too. <laughs> I'm working on it. <sighs> wow. Uh, so we are now going to enjoy, hopefully enjoy, a quiz because we've dropped a couple names, oh, yeah. and uh, I do have just just some fun, just some fun. You want activities. us to write stuff down, so, right? Yeah, so if y'all could, I will tell you in the moment um, the correct answer. So this is an honor system. Just make a little tally mark or just like make a note for yourself if you get an answer correct. Okay. Okay, and then we'll see who knows more about fashion by the end of this quiz. Ooh, hold on. Let me put on my scarf. I need to get empowered. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, Robert, would you give us a segue bot <laughs> transition to the I'll, quiz? I'll give you an auditory and visual one. Mm-hmm. Segue, segue. Oh, it's in my hair! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's what you're hitting things. Next Thank segment. you. Yeah. All right, question one: Which '70s fashion designer popularized the wrap dress? Say it again. Which 70s fashion designer popularized the wrap dress? Wrap dress, 70s. You either know it or you don't. Uh, no Any idea. Any guesses? No okay. idea. Oh, I NBA, thought we were just NBA writing guesses? it down. Oh, I get what happened. No, no. Like, okay. yeah, we're answering in no, the moment. Just no, so you know. Don't know. It's Dion Von Furstenberg. Oh. Wow. Nice. <laughs> don't worry. Some of these are easy. I thought you were going to Dion Warwick and that's, no, totally different. <laughs> no. <laughs> What type of hat was famously worn by Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca? The bowler. No, not the bowler. Sorry, the fedora. Isn't it just a fedora? Yeah. Yeah. Both of you yeah. get that one. Okay. Um, oh, now we write it down. Next okay, question. Yeah. Know. Yeah. And so just write a little mark if uh, I guess. Oh, how do we make sure that you're not whatever? <laughs> you guys system, will both right? get points. Just put down <laughs> no, a but I'm saying like, like you're back in jail, NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying if like Robert says the answer, NBA didn't know it. NBA could repeat, be like, "Oh yeah, Fedora, I knew that." Oh, oh <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. I think honor we'll system. Know. We'll know. In our, Let me know if. Faces. I'll be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which international fashion brand has a polo player as its logo? Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Ooh, nice. Which fashion designer do you associate with red-soled shoes? The cost. NBA got it correct. Fuck, I was going to say that second. I was like, wait, no, Louis Vuitton. Who was the first male musician to appear on the cover of Vogue? Male musician? Yep. Vogue. Um, I mentioned I mentioned him earlier. Timothy Chalamet. Um, so I was <laughs> going to say... No, I'm joking. I was going to say my first David Bowie. answer was... I don't know. Oh, that's a good guess. My first answer was Lenny Kravitz, but I'm pretty sure if it's Vogue, it would have been somebody white. It's so funny. I thought Lenny Kravitz too. That Did was you? my first reaction. Yeah. No, it's Harry. It's Harry Styles. No. Harry Styles. I know. Isn't that wild? First on the cover of Vogue. Uh, what is the slogan of sports brand Nike? Just do Just it. Just do it. Yeah. Who wore, who were blue jeans originally made for? Cowboys? Factory workers. Uh, I'll take miners. Like people oh, who worked in a mine. Okay. Oh. I don't, yeah. I don't deserve that point. 
Uh, which French fashion designer replaced Christian Dior as the head of the House of Dior in 1957? Jean-Paul Alexander Gautier. McQueen? Mm-mm. What'd you say, MBA? Jean-Paul Gaultier. Mm-mm. It's a really famous fashion name. I'll give you guys one more guess. Dior. 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 Uh, uh, I don't know. YSL. I've seen Laurent. Oh, Yves Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. All right. Because yeah. I know Alexander McQueen took over for some big house. Which one was it? He like came in and it didn't mesh know. well. Don't know. <laughs> for another time. Which famous supermodel appeared age seven in the music video for Is This Love by Mom by Bob Marley? I don't know. Uh, 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 I'm going to say um, uh, Croft. Uh, uh, City Croft. Uh, what? Cindy Crawford, thank you. Nah, it's Naomi Campbell. <gasps> I was going to say that! Oh, oh no, I should have said it. <laughs> okay, H&M was founded in which European country? Sweden. England. Oh, no. Robert right. got it. Right. Mm-hmm. Who designed a boot named after an animal known for its distinctive armored shell? This name has come up a couple times. Oh. I don't know. Designed a boot after... Is it... The Australian Boot Company? Uh, a human, uh, a male name. Oh, a, a male designer. <laughs> it was designed by a human, Alexander not McQueen. actual or Yeah, you got it, Robert. Hey! <laughs> oh. It what wasn't was designed it? by an... Uh, what? what the Armadillo it? Boot, literally. Oh, the armadillo. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. What is the difference between a cape and a poncho? <laughs> a poncho has a hood. Well, no, yeah. the poncho has a hole. A cape goes, like... Yeah, the poncho has a hole. <laughs> yeah, NBA got it's it. Vulgar. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'll get. I'll give you a chance to uh, respond with the next question, um, Robert. Uh, name two of the big five supermodels of the '90s. So, Robert, can you name two of the big supermodels in the '90s? Cindy Crawford and Naomi Campbell. <laughs> Okay, and then MBA, how about you? Kate Moss, Linda Evangelista, the two Robert said. Great, you both got it. Yeah. <laughs> I would have also taken Christy Turlington and Claudia Schiffer. Claudia Schiffer. Claudia sure. Schiffer, that was the other one I was thinking of, yeah. Okay, uh, we are almost at the end. Uh, we'll do 15 questions. We just did number 13 number 14 which queen wore a white wedding dress setting the trend for dressing brides in white not a drag queen oh, oh actual queen <laughs> a literal queen well princess diana that's not a queen yeah not princess diana uh for well queen, did elizabeth ii do that i think she i'm gonna say queen victoria okay no, final answer second it is queen victoria mm-hmm. <laughs> The word pajama originated in which country? This is our last question. Peru. Okay, and Robert? Pajama, pajama, pajama. I'm going to go with a Middle Eastern country. I'm going to say Turkey. Mm, Both wrong. It comes from India. It's the Hindi word for loose trousers. Mm. Damn it. And also Turkey is in Middle East, so I fucked that up. That's Eastern Europe. Um, (laughs) But... uh, all right. I was so, close. I was the Middle East. Technically. So by the end, oh, no, it's a tricky Never quiz. Mind. It's a very yeah. tricky quiz. Uh, Robert, how many points did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> NBA, how about you? Six. Oh. oh. I don't think either of us passed technically. Because then we both <laughs> no. get like 50% or less. Yeah, yeah. True. But, you know. Robert still wins. Good shit. So uh, nice. it is now time for the fun of the show, the fun of Tissues of the Day. Oh, We're going to play is another okay game. If I had fun earlier. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's all fun. <laughs> I, I, we try to keep things generally fun. General fun Phew. vibes. Okay. Good. Otherwise, reshoot the whole thing. Yeah, Mm -hmm. this was mostly an educational episode for me because I really don't know much about designers. I don't know much about models. Um, But if I see it, I decide whether I like it, you know? I see it. I like it. (laughs) 
I get it. I Is that want that, it. that I, Ariana I, song? I really don't know it. So today we are going to play a game called 20 Questions About an Image. <clears throat> so each of us have prepared an image <clears throat> that the other two guests, the other two podcasters are going to ask questions about to see if we can figure out what the picture is. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Who wants to go first? To Robert guess or does. to be guessed? To be guessed. To have Me. their picture determined. Mine okay, Robert. Bizarre. Okay, yeah. Robert loves making games really difficult. Mm. Um, so let me just Sounds write like down. Robert. <laughs> I like okay. making things hard. Okay, so Robert, question one. Mm. Is it a person? No. Okay. Is it alive? Yes. Okay. Is it a plant? No. Um, is it a mammal? Yes. Okay. Is it furry? Yes. Um, can you find this mammal in Canada? Yes. Is it, does it have big teeth? No, small teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a rodent? No. Uh, is it... Uh, does it walk on four legs? <clears throat> yes. Does it burrow under the ground? No, not normally, but it is capable of it. Ah, uh, can. Oh my god. Um, is it a bright color? No. And MBA is resetting <laughs> their camera. Hello, welcome. We're on back. question twelve. Does it come in multiple colors? Yes, it does. The the yes, it can. It does. Yes. <laughs> My word. Um, is it canine? Yes. <gasps> okay. Is it a fox? Is it a type of dog? Yes. Okay. Fuck, we're on question 16. Do you have a friend who has this type of dog? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Somebody's got to own this thing. Okay. okay. Is it a Shiba Inu? No. <sighs> now, here's the thing. You've got that it's a dog, but the fart you're not going to get is what's on the dog. The fart I'm not going to get, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> the fart. Fart. <laughs> is what kind of dog it is. Okay, well. No, no, no. You I mean, you dog? could get the type of dog, but what's most important is what's on this dog. Wow. Okay, we're on question 18. Is the item that is on the dog clothing yes is it is the contents of this picture expensive would you say no oh my god all right question 20 any final details oh to, for me to give no 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 is for mba task it's a Beagle wearing a leather, black leather collar with silver spikes. Ooh, I think it's actually a beagle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this thing is. It could be a mutt, but. I'll take the win. <laughs> Do you want to see good. it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, I think, uh, yeah, you should be able to share the screen. Okay. There you go. <laughs> that is not a beagle. That's not a beagle. <laughs> That's I don't a chihuahua. Know, I think. chihuahua. Is that chihuahua? chihuahua? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Look, he's so wearing a lobster. It's a lobster. Wow. Costume. 
at the small beach. teeth, not a rodent, dull mm-hmm. color. Oh, that's tough because I didn't mm-hmm. realize it'd be wearing a costume. Mm-hmm. So, ah, uh, all right. You know, Good we one. got dog He's fashion. We got dog. Excellent work. I, I that's very, very close. All right, um, you're very good. Very good. NBA, mm-hmm. would you like to? I'll go. <laughs> is it an uh, inanimate object? No. Oh, sorry. Is it an animate object? Was that your question? In uh, no, an inanimate object. Inanimate. No, it is no. not okay. inanimate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, what? <laughs> is it alive? It's alive. It's alive. Is okay. Is what we're saying. <laughs> what I'm saying. Robert, confuse me. It's alive. Yeah. Not I'm an alive. inanimate object. <laughs> Um, that's very funny to me. So, all right. Well, that was my question. You can ask again, Robert. Um, is it larger than a car? No. Okay. Is it larger than a hand? Yes. Okay. Smaller than car, larger than a hand. Is it... Or does it have fur? No. Okay. Uh, is it an animal? Yes. Is it a mammal? No. Is it a reptile? No. Is it on more than two legs no mm. <laughs> i like how you didn't say legs. four because like yeah it was three. Oh, i guess it could be six or eight okay okay you know yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. your answer was fine ew ew mm. a I would bug like to... <laughs> a bug larger than your hand i would hope that's oh, not gosh, what we're guessing yeah. <laughs> larger than um, hand smaller than a car on two, two legs. legs okay so i'm um, it sounds like is it a bird is it avian yes is it a land bird? Yes. Uh, <laughs> but it's quite funny thinking fly? of this. Thinking of this thing swimming is very funny to me. Can it can fly? It fly? I'm going to say no. Not okay. really. Is it extinct? No, not yet. <gasps> Deep. Um, okay, this is question 14. Is it Camera, colorful? Ooh. Yes, very colorful. <laughs> okay. Colorful. I think I may be about a battery. No, cardful. Uh, Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going with the zoom angle then. Okay. Okay, you sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could put an Does it have very long feathers. Yes. Is it a peacock? Yes! yes you are the winner! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! You Just like it? MBA. It's a big old peacock. Let's see your it's peacock. A picture. Cock. Let's see your peacock. <laughs> cock. Cock. Alright, make sure to keep track of how many guesses okay. you've shall. taken. MBA All right, I'm ready. Um, is your picture of something alive? Sort of. Mm-hmm. It okay, either I is or it yes isn't. Or no. Okay. Um, does it have the capacity to move? Yes. Was it once alive and is now dead? Yes. Is it very old? Yes, probably. It doesn't look old. That's a big hint. Sorry. Um, are they a person? Yes. Sort of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Is it of this planet? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Is this a character in TV or film? No. Is it from 
like literary works comic no. books books but this this kind of person this kind of person thing has been featured in many stories Wait, so then it is. It is of literary work. Yeah, I just don't know what specifically okay, like, you're referring okay. to. It's okay, not okay. like, it's not a title character. It doesn't have like a Right, name. but you could find it like in a book or a yep. comic book or some sort of poem. Yep. Hmm. Uh, are they... From Earth? We already asked uh, that. You can ask another question. Yeah, yeah, yeah I already yeah. said. No, it's, not it's not of this planet. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, so, um, are they green? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Are they fictional? It depends on who you ask. Mm -hmm. Some people believe they're real. Some people don't. Okay. I mean, is it just like a cute little alien that has the big head and the black eyes? Mm. Nope. That was question 10. Okay. Um, is it typically malevolent in nature? No. Okay. Um, are they animated? They can be, yeah. Well, like, and this is the specific image, right, we're talking about. So. Yeah, like, it's a... Uh, I'm looking at an illustration, right? But, like, similar to the story question, these types of mm. things have been animated many so times. So it's an illustration. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn. Um, it, is it magical? <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, um, do they have a name? Oh, like a like a uh, a name that is like just unique to that one being. There are many of these kinds of things with proper names, but this oh. specific picture does not like i don't know i don't recognize this specific oh, okay one. some of them are named some of their yeah there are, are famous named, named of these kinds of things even yeah okay I, it depends on what you believe that's a big hint <laughs> does it have a horn <laughs> no <gasps> ooh 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 um are they an angel Yes, you got it. Oh. <laughs> well, well done. done. <laughs> yeah. I'll How did you put that up. together, NBA? What was what was your well, process? Because the horn, the horn made me think of um, Satan, like a unicorn, or oh, of Satan. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um, so you went the opposite route. <gasps> um, that's our picture. <laughs> look at this. So pretty. Yeah, it would have been it would have been really crazy if you were able to guess an angel in space. <laughs> but you were, yeah. you would have really thrown us. Or like, does it have a lower half? And you're like, no. And I'm like, Damn it! I don't know what this is. Yeah, yeah. So did you? Are you sort of getting my hints now? Like. It depends on For what sure. you believe. Some people believe in angels. Yeah. Some people know about famous angels with names and all of that stuff. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Whew. Good shit. Wow. Uh, let me just. Yeah. When you gave like proper names for them, I'm like, okay, this is something in great quantities that are named often. And I'm like, okay, this is <laughs> yeah. sounding biblical. <laughs> yeah. Mm. How would, how would you have answered um, whether it was alive or not? Oh, it's alive. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Right, because like, like some yeah, people, well, some people yeah. see angels as like servants who have always been alive, and some people see angels as like someone who's deceased and now true. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Yeah. So I wasn't sure. Right. Yeah. What is alive? What is alive? What is alive? Well, I would see it. It's like as a post-death thing, often, right? Like angels mm -hmm. are something that are sent from heaven that are living beings, or they're somebody who like died and turned into an angel, which is a living mm -hmm. being, mm -hmm. just spiritual, but alive and you know, capable of things. But was that every angel's trajectory? 
Mm-mm. Someone went right. way south into what is known as hell. No, that's not what I was getting at. Maybe, maybe like <laughs> some are just like angels from the beginning. They never were. Uh, yeah, yeah, dead. totally. I think that's there were I mean. some that were like, you know, birthed of heaven as opposed to like, you know, uh, somebody who died and turned into an angel. So could they be alive? Wow. I think so, because they're not... It's like they're immortal, but they're still mortal, right? Like they're still living, but non, they can't die. <laughs> Can you give me a, mm, one more time? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this was so fun. MBA, do you have anything you want to take away from our discussion today? Well, to be honest, I am so impressed with um, how congenial Robert has been. <laughs> Such a You're just saying I haven't been a full co-host. Nice. <laughs> um, Hit the flowers; it puts me in a good mood. <laughs> Robert, how about you? Any takeaways from our fashion talk? Fashion talk. Uh, mine would be that I'm very impressed how communally between us, um, like confidence or feeling empowered by clothing is a consistent theme. And I think that that is something that should be true for everybody. Uh, I've had a lot of talks about fashion as of late. It's funny that we had this topic. Um, and I think that it would be really cool one day to see gender let's call it disparity or separation and segmentation within fashion would be eliminated where it's just clothing is clothing and you go on and you pick out what you like. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. That was something we talked about in the non-binary episode or the yeah. yes. episode yes, about the binary. Um, so feel free to check that out. And thank you all so much. Uh, NBA, like we said, is plugging their hair styling brand. So you can follow them at mba.hair on Instagram. Uh, I'll put up some examples of their work in the video version of the podcast. Uh, you can check out the video version of the podcast on Bitbutton on YouTube, where you can see our beautiful faces. I put a lot of work into these video podcasts, so it would mean a lot if somebody actually looked at them and left a comment. So <laughs> let me know. That's my very passive aggressive invitation to, <laughs> to check out uh, the video. Uh, thank you so much for listening to Tissues of the Day. You can follow me, David, at Bitbutton on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow Robert at Robert F. Mackay on Instagram. Stay wet, internet. Leaking! <laughs> I like to <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>